So this world is about bringing things together, bringing all the necessary talent, all the necessary stakeholders using the same format to try to identify what is the problem statement and then how do we define the solution to convert and to translate the technology disruption into a business opportunity. We created this space because we wanted to offer to our clients the full spectrum of the expertise necessary to ideate, design, build, run and deploy a digital transformation. So basically on this floor you have available anytime now the full spectrum of the expertise. You have people doing design thinking, doing customer a design journey, doing a rapid prototyping, doing artificial intelligence, doing analytics, doing IoT. And anytime you need to have access to one of these expertise, it's available for the client in real time. So if you brainstorm on something and you have a question on data science or artificial intelligence, we brought in the expert when you need to answer the question. We don't need to call or postpone the meeting or have another meeting a week after. Here in the Applied Intelligence Innovation Center, we have our clients apply uh, advanced analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence into delivering outcomes, which is why the whole notion around applied intelligence is really about taking the intelligence from the data, applying it in the operations, in the businesses to deliver outcomes. So usually we, 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 we host clients here with different format of workshop. It can be half a day, it can be one day, it can be one week, two weeks, three weeks. The longer it is, the better it is, and the larger the, the team and the more senior the team is, the better. Because you need, you need sponsorship at the highest level within the organization to be able to implement and to deploy your digital transformation. So we host the client here the first day, and usually we start with Fjord and with design thinking, and we try to define and to crystallize what is the problem statement. Because sometimes the clients they arrive the first day, with a, they believe that their problem is something, but step by step working with us, they realize that the problem statement is not exactly the one that they had in mind at the beginning. Then you also have some politics, some different perspectives, different people within the organization have different agenda, a different view on what the problem is. And doing this uh, problem statement using design thinking really harmonize and crystallize in a very meaningful way and very powerful way what is the problem we are trying to solve. And then we inject a bit of research uh, on, on this particular problem and then we try to identify pattern, and then we try to propose area of solution, and then we try to expose those area of solution to the group, to the entire stakeholder, and the entire experts that are in the room. And then we start prototyping those things, whether we use uh, hardware, software, firmware, or different type of thing. So here, for instance, we have our uh, artificial intelligence-led bartender, and this is a voice uh, user interface demonstration and this is a prototype that the team has, uh, has developed. She is powered by artificial intelligence. We built her here in this studio basically. Uh, from scratch we have like open source technology running behind Swiggy. And uh, Swiggy can give you like 20 different drinks. Can you recommend me something? Of course, I can help. Which one do you like? Orange, grape, lemon, apple or pineapple? Pineapple. You can talk to Swiggy, ask your favorite drink, uh, ask her for different things like jokes, uh, chit chat, and you can ask her like, what's the recommended drink? I would recommend the following pineapple drinks: Singapore Sling, Sweet Sunrise, and the Virgin Mai Tai. Which one would you prefer? Singapore Sling. While I prepare your drink, let's take a selfie to make your friends ah. jealous. <laughs> you want to join me in the selfie? <laughs> Artificial intelligence is a new UI, right? So a few years back when you were designing a user interface, you were limited by the size of the device, the size of the key and everything. And then it becomes the size of the screen and then it becomes the touch screen and everything. So now it's voice, user interface, and it's artificial intelligence led. And this is exactly what this prototype is about. We can produce content, we can produce video, we can produce a prototype, whether it's a mobile application, a tablet application, or web application. We can use our testing facility to see whether the user is really using the, the, the prototype the way we were intending the user to use it. Here is something we call the observatory room. This is a testing room. Okay, this wall is a mirror, so the people in the room over there do not see us, cannot see us and cannot hear us, right? But we can, as you can see, we can see them uh, in details, we can hear them and we can do a lot of things. So basically now they are going to do an eye tracking demo where they have a device on the screen and the screen is going to track their eyes. So the, 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 the demonstration is going to be about tracking where the user 
is, is, is positioning his ace and focusing in, in, in eyes, right? And then we can use data, and by using the data, you can confirm what we were planning to design and what we were planning to, uh, to impact, and then adjust the prototype or, or, or confirm the prototype. And then at the end of the process, whether it's a one-week process or several-week process, the client leaves this space with a prototype, with a clear roadmap, with a clear buy-in from all the leadership team, and then it's become much more easier to, to implement and to deploy. We can partner with them to do this implementation, or they can decide to do it internally, or they can decide to do it with a third party. The power of this process is not that there is a single element of it. If you take any stage of the process in isolation, they are very good, but this is not a breakthrough. This is not the, the, the breakthrough is combining all those elements together, available in real time for the client to solve a problem.